guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Get cozy, get comfortable, get some popcorn, get some tea, because we are doing a Q&A. This is my first Q&A. I can't believe it's coming up on two years, I think, this year for my YouTube channel, and I've never done a Q&A. I never did like an intro Q&A, so I'm doing one now. And I got all your lovely bleh, questions in my book. I wrote them all down. We've got some to go through. There were a few questions that were the same, so I'm sure I will answer them in one way or another, but I'm, I'm just gonna get started and we're gonna go down the list. I was gonna organize them into categories, but we're just gonna go with it. So, question one. What is your favorite hair color you've had? Uh, <laughs> a hair color I've had, like wigs or actual hair color I've had. Cause my favorite hair color I've had, I wanna say was orange. I really liked orange on me. I think it was really bright. I think it was really fun. Um, however, wigs, I really like this half and half, pink, half blue. When I grow my hair out, this is actually the style that I want to have. I want to have half blue, half pink. But yeah, so favorite hair color that dyed my hair, orange, and then wig color, probably this. Yay! Question two, can we see some old pictures? Yes, I will just put them up and let you guys judge them. Um, I want to point out that I didn't get into like hardcore kawaii fashion until after high school because I felt very like I needed to be wearing the same clothes as everyone else in high school uh, because high school I feel like was a really judgy place but I don't know that's just me so I ended up wearing like a lot of black what you'd normally see normal normal teenagers I don't know wear so they just I just wore black clothes I hope that answers the question and here's some photos what is your favorite piece of clothing you own now this is really a tough question because I love all my clothes I could never sooner pick a favorite but I kind of have like a top three so like but they're all tied for like first I don't know I love my Chris of Sparkles sprinkle on top dress I love my Lazy Oaf Esther Loves You collab bunny rees in white and I'm being honest I love this sweater from WC, I also have it in the cardigan. They're like tied in the same place. I love those particular items of clothing. Like I find myself wearing them way more than like anything else because I just love them so much. And I'm like, who couldn't love a lovely pastel rainbow sweater? I lived in this in the winter time. I'm so glad it came before like it got freezing cold. I just, I really like those items of clothing, so I hope that answers that question. Who are your fashion inspirations? Now, I have a few. One which I feel like people don't see coming a lot is Katy Perry. I love Katy Perry, especially her Teenage Dream Tour. That was a big inspiration for me. All like the cotton candy and the clouds and just candy in general. I love that aesthetic aesthetic I just think it's so cute Betsy Johnson I love her she's queen I love Sebastian Mansuda the guy from 6% Doki Doki he's awesome amazing I love 6% Doki Doki so much with like youtubers I mean pixie locks bubble chew tea I love bubble chew tea's aesthetic so much She's just so cute and pastel and very, very cute and I love her and obviously Pixie Lux is our queen and she's just freaking living her best life with her party K which I absolutely adore. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Pixie Lux, I get this question so much and it's why do you sound so much like Pixie Lux? Do we sound similar? Maybe because we're both Canadians? That's honestly all I can think of is that we are both Canadians. I live on the opposite side of Canada though. I live in a city called Victoria. It's in BC. I'm not gonna tell you my address, but I live in Victoria. Uh, it's a nice city. I like it. 
While the rest of Canada was freezing, my friend and I, we went for a hike in shorts and a t-shirt, which was awesome. And then I think we jinxed it because we got snow the next week and it's still pretty cold out. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why we sound like each other. Maybe she's my distant cousin and our voice was passed down in our DNA and I don't know. <laughs> We're both Canadians. That's that's my best answer is we're both Canadians because this is just how I sound and I don't know. Just All right, next question. What is your favorite anime slash movie slash book? So picking a favorite anime, I wanna go of what genre? Because there's so many genres and like I guess I don't watch that many. Like this should be easy. I watch like maybe two genres. I'm a big sucker for romance. If you've seen like very, very past videos, um, I mention that a lot, but I am a sucker for romance animes. But my favorite anime, <laughs> can it be like favorite of right now? Cause my favorite right now is my friend finally convinced me to watch My Hero Academia and I love it so much. I love Todoroki. He is bae. I love him so much. I went to a convention recently with my friend and there was a Todoroki body pillow. I know some of you are out there judging me. No, I didn't get it. Yes, I was pressured into potentially getting it, but I'm saving for Japan and I'm like, there's probably better body pillows in Japan. I'll just wait. So <laughs> that's the reason why I didn't get it, but I love My Hero Academia. I think it's so cool. The storyline is absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen it, season three came out last year, won a bunch of awards. Go watch it. Let's fangirl over Todoroki together because I love him. Favorite movie? That one's harder because I do watch a lot of movies. However, my favorite movie, and I don't know if this counts for anime, but I love Howl's Moving Castle. It's a Ghibli movie. It's absolutely amazing. I'm excited to be going to the Ghibli Museum when I go to Japan in May with my mom. I just, I love Howl's so much. It's so good. Just. I love Howl. It's so good. Um, that's definitely my favorite movie. And then my favorite book, I would say it's a series because I don't really read books. <laughs> I read manga. Um, is Horomiya. I love Horomiya. It is the cutest love story ever between like the preppy girl and like the silent boy, but he's actually got like lots of tattoos and piercings and it's like super edgy outside of school and it's really really cute and I definitely recommend um I have to like book uh 10. I haven't been to a bookstore in a while so I gotta like catch up because it's such a good series and I love it so much. <laughs> what is your favorite music genre and favorite band and or artist? I don't want to be super basic and say pop but I do listen to a lot of pop. I work retail, so most of what I hear is like mainstream pop that plays on the radio, so I tend to find myself listening to that more. However, I was brought up with 80s rock. I love 80s rock. I guess, yeah, that's my favorite genre. I listen to that. Like, that's what I would fall to sleep. I like most people, a lot of my friends are like, I have to sleep to the sounds of rain and like a gentle piano. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna fall asleep to like ACDC's Hell's Bells because that's what puts me to sleep. That's my lullaby. I love Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, Def Leppard. I saw them in concert and I was so shooketh. I, my little dang marbles were like, blah, 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 blah. I love Def Leppard so much. They're like one of my favorite bands um, along with Van Halen. If I could see Van Halen live when they were in the prime, I would like freaking, I would do anything. I would sacrifice my soul for the time machine to go see it. That'd be so cool. Favorite band. Did that kind of answer it? I like all those bands. Um, favorite artist. Can I say Taylor Swift? Just kidding. I, that's like my guilty pleasure. I love Taylor Swift. Yeah, I just, I listen to a lot of rock. Uh, I dipped into K-pop the other day and that kind of answers another question. Do you listen to K-pop? And the answer is, um, yes. Oh, here's the thing with K-pop videos. So I don't know what their budget is for these videos, but it, it makes it hard to look away. Like, I mean, they were a really big thing and they're still a really big thing, but if you've ever seen the girl artist group, uh, Blackpink, they did a song called do 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 
do something like that. Um, do, 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 you know that one. And if you watch the actual like music video, there's like a bedazzled tank. They're like on water pillars and like fire and a press conference. Like there's a lot going on and it's just really hard to look away from it. And it's just catchy in general. Like they're all really catchy. Like I love Blackpink. I love um, Big Bang. Uh, my friend got me into them and that was just, they were shirtless and they were really attractive. Um, BTS. And then I've been really, I don't know if Twice is, no I think Twice, that's a J-pop, Japanese pop one. I've been listening to a lot of like both of those, like Japanese ones and Korean ones. I'm freaking just, ugh, so good, so good. Can you do a wig collection video? Yes, I am planning on doing one of those once I get back from Japan. I know that's a little ways away, but I have a feeling I'm gonna buy more in Japan and so I'm like, I'll just wait until I come back because then I'll have more wigs to add to the collection. So there will be a wig collection video, just not presently. What is your favorite Disney character? That's an easy one, Rapunzel. I love Rapunzel so much. She is so cool and I love her and freaking the Rapunzel like movie was so good. Ugh. That's one of my dream like cosplays to really get a good Rapunzel down, so. Yes. <laughs> Who is your favorite Sanrio character? That's easy. Pom Pom put in. I love him so much. I was on the hunt for a Pom Pom put in stuffy for so long and when we went to Vancouver last year so that I could get a few things for my room, uh, we went to a mall. I can't remember what it was called. And they were selling freaking Sanrio plushies and I'm like, hey, give me your plushie. <laughs> um, obviously I paid for it, but I love him so much. He is my favorite Sanrio character. <laughs> I knew this question was gonna come up, but I wanted to avoid it, okay? Ugh. You guys are just so little sneakies. Um, do you have a crush on anyone? Uh, yes, and I like them a lot. Um, I'm not gonna mention names, because if they watch this, that'd be embarrassing, but yes, I do, and they're very nice. And I like them a lot. If you could meet any celebrity and or YouTuber, who would it be and why? <gasps> that is a very good question. Kudos. Celebrity? Oh no! Wait, I'm just thinking of all the celebrities I want to meet. If I could meet a celebrity, I would want to meet Thor. Like, he'd have to be in Thor costume. Like, I believe that's Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, uh, Thor. Without a doubt, he is love. I feel like he'd be really cool to me. Or Ryan Reynolds, or Chris Pratt. Any one of them. Or Loki, Tom Hiddleston. <sighs> um, however, YouTubers, that's tough. And I know a lot of you would be like, I bet it's Pixie Locks. And I would love to meet Pixie Locks, but I feel like within my lifetime, that is an achievable goal, and I feel like I'll actually get to do that. So ones that I feel like I wouldn't get to do is I, without a doubt, would want to meet Shane Dawson. I feel like that'd be like so freaking cool to like meet him because I think he's so cool. Uh, Jeffree Star, that would be really neat to like meet. He'd be really cool. Jaden Animations and Domix, he's Canadian. All I'll have to do is fly to Toronto. Uh, Lovely Lore, again, I feel like that one might be achievable because in Canada, but I'm like, yeah, I'm like, any one of those. That wasn't really like who would be your favorite. Like I picked like six, but like there's just too many. I have so many YouTubers that I just love and I follow like with passion and just want to meet them really, really bad. So yeah, definitely Thor and let's say Shane Dawson. Let's say those two, those two. Oh, this is a good question. Dogs or cats? Cats. After Japan, I am going to be a cat mom of two. I am very excited. The kind of cats we are looking at are ragdoll cats, munchkin cats, and British short hair cats. And I'd be fine with any of them because I just want some cats. Uh, hope that answers the question. I like cats. Do you watch any idol animes? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Uh, one of the only ones I've watched that I can remember is uh, Love Live School Idol Project. That's like. I feel like your most basic idol anime. And then, does Uta no Prince Sama count as an idol anime? Like, they're, they're singing. It counts, right? 
Um, and there was one more, but I can't remember the name of it. It was a boy idol anime. And it was really good. But yes, I do watch idol animes. I love them. I think they're amazing. Ugh, they just make me so happy. Favorite candy? My, ooh. Does chocolate count as candy? I'm like, I like Rolos, and then I like oh, bonbons. Oh my god, okay, those things are the cheese. I love those so much. Bonbons, but like specifically the blue raspberry ones, like I will only eat the blue raspberry ones. They're so good. Um, so definitely bonbons. Have you ever had a stranger touch you because they thought your hair or clothing or other was cute? Yes, I have. And yes, it was really creepy and it was very spooky. Um, I was actually pulled into an alley once because I was meeting my friend downtown and we just, we both like to dress really cute. And I don't know, it was really terrifying. My friend punched this guy. It was self-defense, so don't get mad at her for doing that. But it was, yeah, it was not good. I feel like a lot of people, this is why I don't go downtown. They treat it as like, <clears throat> like, I don't like, like, um, they just don't treat it very good. Like, we'll be wearing, I don't know, smaller skirts or dresses, you know, with a thigh high socks, which is like a standard kawaii thing anywhere. And I had a guy come up to me once behind me and whisper, he's like, are you doing that to be like looked at and like touched? And I turned around and I wanted to slug this guy in the face, but I am not very strong. And if I did that, I feel like I might have gotten stabbed. So I'm like, please be respectful and like, don't talk to me. And then proceeded to go home and didn't return downtown for the next three months. Just, I don't go downtown. I work at Claire's, which is like in town um, or out of town, sorry. And it's closer to my home and I can wear whatever the heck I want there within, you know, dress code, but like, I don't get judged right there because I blend into the cuteness, but yes, a stranger has poked and touched me before. Yes, I find it really creepy. I don't think it's proper. Please ask someone. It's, you can't just touch them because you think they're cute. That's not how it works. Consent is key and just don't be creepy. My fellow Canadian, do you find it hard to find cute things, clothing, accessories in the wild? Yes, as a Canadian, um, my city is okay at that. Uh, the one place where I could find a regular choice shoes closed down, so there was one of my kawaii outlets gone. Finding kawaii things, I feel like in my city, Victoria specifically, is around Easter time. I'm like, if you like pastel fashion and you like cute things, emerge from your cave at Easter time because that's when all the pastel comes out. Like I am in the dollar store nonstop around Easter because all their pastel like organizing systems, cute little things, they come out. So that is my time to load up. Forever 21 has come out with some really cute things. So I went there and I got a few things. I work at Claire's and I've actually been finding that they're getting a lot of accessories in that are very Japanese fashion inspired. So I definitely, finding accessories has never been hard for me because I work in an accessories store, but finding things like clothing, like really kishi J-pop or J fashion inspired is pretty hard. Like, yes, you can find the odd pastel thing, but it's, it's just, it's what your basics, and basics are really important for an outfit, but like, it's nothing crazy, like with like Ryakuma on it, or like a bear, or anything like that. Like, it's just plain. Um, there is one place where I get some really cute wigs uh, in my city, but yeah, finding kawaii things locally is really hard. I do a lot of online shopping, <laughs> which answers the next question kind of. Favorite place to shop for clothes and online shop. So my favorite place to shop for clothes is definitely online. I do umpteen amount of online shopping. I want to say a good 80 to 90 percent of my wardrobe is from online. Um, I bought this online. I had it shipped from the pan. The pants I'm wearing are from online. Like I can spot at least 20 articles of clothing that I bought online and I shop from a, a, a good chunk of different places, but I will name them out for you. I like to shop from Dolls Kill. The customs fee isn't too bad. Yes, cry for the exchange because it is in US dollars, but they have the option to switch it. So just switch it right away and don't cry when it switches at the end. 
Um, I particularly like the brand Sugar Thrills from them and Current Mood. They are like two of my faves. I like to shop from UVMe and Sunrins, Happy Monday Store, these are all different websites. Uh, Tokyo Go Kart or Zen Market is really good if you're shopping overseas from Japan. Forever 21, I find myself there a lot, especially with this season because they come up with some pretty cute fashion things. And then Depop. Depop, I have mixed feelings about Depop. It can be really good, but you have to be really careful. You don't want to get scammed. I almost got scammed once. I am still on the hunt for the little Twin Stars Why Are You collab, and I was almost at 300 bucks. So just be careful. PayPal sided with me. I got a refund. It was fully reimbursed for it, but please be careful. But I have gotten so many cool things from Depop. I got my Christmas Sparkles dress, which was brand new. I got my Lazy Oaf Bear dress and my Lazy Oaf Rainbow dress from there. All, like, they're beautiful, um, basically brand new. So, yes, just be careful with buying from secondhand stores specifically. I'm like, other than that, I'm like, I, oh, Bon Chance Collections. Their dresses are so flipping cute. I recommend. That is another favorite online store. All right, that is all the questions. Wow, that, I got a lot more questions than I thought I did. If you have any questions for future Q&A videos, please leave that in the comments below. And of course, if you want to see more Outside Cheeky Sparkles content, I'm going to be trying to post on my Instagram three times a week now. I've been taking a whack ton of photos, so head on over to my Instagram and my Twitter for more Outside Cheeky Sparkles content, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!